he's giving a kidney to someone he's never met. I wanted to spend my life with him, but I need to feel like he loves me more than other people. Being generous is one thing, but wanting to give away all your organs while still alive makes me think House was right. Very excited to be reacting to House MD Season 8, Episode 3, Charity Case. On this channel, we are reacting to all 177 House videos, and this will be Episode 158. Let's see if I can get the diagnosis before House does as a doctor working in London. Most jobs require at least basic word processing skills. We try to get you up to 50 words per minute. What if I had history with... Uh... With drugs. Many of our clients have struggled with addiction. We do not provide child care, don't have the resources. Oscar, I gotta call you back. Uh. Benjamin, wait! Somebody call an ambulance! Why am I watching you cut your hair? If I do it at home, I'm the one who has to clean it up. Dr. Adams. Give me the file. You can't afford a team. Adams is free. You said we were meeting for coffee. I'm not working, House. I'm in the process of looking for a paying job. Think of this as today's free clinic. A sudden collapse at your age can indicate a deterioration in the heart muscle. It could also just be dehydration. You could probably drop the undercover act. You give away millions and you don't own a suit? Why shouldn't I use that money to do something important? I could live on 25000 a year. I still have my software company. And when I make more, I'll give that away too. There is a symptom. Extreme altruism. I'm not coming back, House. I need you to stop calling me. I'm not a doctor anymore, House. Turns out I like boring. No, you want to like boring. If you showed up to tell me that you don't want to hear from me, huh? it's a mixed signal. I feel uh, funny my chest. The tachycardic. So I'm thinking occult long QT syndrome. What about Whipples? If it was Whipples, there was some kind of neurological involvement. I'm told. Some people are just nice. Did House's new resident just beat him at nihilism? We doctors officially have a new Apple replacement. A prison sentence a day keeps the sadness away. I say that because she thinks it could be Whipples as his generosity is the proof of the neurological symptom, but House is saying that Dr. Adams must be right with her long QT because his brain is fine. I personally think neither are right because he has had collapsed fast heart rate, and I think his symptoms are a symptom of personality change as it would fit the story so well if they were. So what could cause those three? Well, if he was intermittently dropping his blood pressure due to fast heart rate, that could cause his collapse, but it doesn't quite explain the personality change unless that was from cerebral hypoperfusion, aka dribbling blood flow syndrome where the brain doesn't get enough oxygen and nutrients as the heart isn't pumping well enough. The most common cause of that that would potentially fit here could be something called pot or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Maybe dropping off the money was a trigger for him due to the stress involved. All right, I'm going for POTS as my first diagnostic guess. Let's get more clues. All those patients going untreated because I don't have the resources to do my best work. I'll give a million dollars as an endowment to the hospital. I'm offered oral sex from a sexaholic. Do I have to decline? You can't take this guy's money. Taking money from a sick person is ethically suspect. All we do is take money from sick people. $20, a million, what's the difference? My wife, I started giving away the money. I, I hope she'd want to do it with me. I miss them. I have two little boys. But family comes first. I can't justify buying video games in private schools when other people's children are starving. So what's happening? I'm not sure, but it's not what we thought it was. He lost his wife because she couldn't accept not being filthy rich. Echo virus. Iris, Iris, Iris. Fits his physical symptoms. I don't want to come back to work for you. But I was wrong to try to push you out of my life. Everything has gone blue. I'm coming. Let's swing by the Hunan Palace and get some lo mein and Szechuan beef. Fine. House may have been down on his luck before, but now he's up by around 13 points. It also seems that he has a very generous donation at his fingertips, which leaves him in two minds. Do I fix this man whose generosity might be a function of a strange neurological condition, or do I take the donation and open up shop next to the emergency department with my own tiki bar? Either way, he needs to know what's wrong with him before he makes the decision not to treat it. So what could that be? Well, 
Well, we know the patient so far has had an abnormal heart rhythm, fainting, and muscle tremors. The team think that that could all be explained by echo virus, which plausibly could go straight in and cause inflammation to the heart muscle, but not really the tremors. So other potentials could be metabolic, maybe pheochromocytoma. That actually could work pretty well here, and they might even find high blood pressure associated with it. Inflammatory could be MS with involvement of the nerves that regulate the heart. Degenerative could be Frederick's ataxia. Neoplastic, potentially paraneoplastic syndrome. Infectious could be rabies. That would be wild. Toxic, we could realize that he actually has bipolar disorder, which could have caused his generosity from mania, and now he's overdosed on lithium. I definitely want some screening blood tests here, including checking the adrenal hormones and breakdown products in the urine, as well as a CT head and lumbar puncture. I do think though a pheochromocytoma surely has to be the one. That needs to be my second diagnostic guess. Let's see if I'm right. Can you do me a favor? You want me to return these? Wear them while you masturbate? I'm short on cash this month. I can't pay you back. These were free. I punched the last person that pissed me off. Was it Santa? Your guy just signed up to donate a kidney to my patient with renal failure. His mental status is declining. Yeah. Offering an organ to a stranger is a symptom. Being a live donor has risks. The risk is one in 4,000 I could die during surgery. I've got two and this woman has none. I'm gonna let him be a donor. The patient made a big downgrade in his personal life. He's probably not eating all that healthy. Magnesium deficiency? I think it's Whipple's disease. Do an upper endoscopy and run a PCR test for Whipple's. It just appeared in the last few weeks. Well, the neighbor's put in a pool, so he's been spending a lot of time over there. Oh, summer lilac. That's my lotion. It's on the palms of his hands. In the pool is the neighbor's daughter. There's some lube. House? There's no sign of Trofera Medina. It's not Whipple's. You sure you want to do this? This is going to make me very happy. Dr. Simpson, heart rate's 140, pressure's dropping. Get him adenosine, stat. Patient's unstable, surgery's off. You're off the case. You dosed him. I worked for you for seven years. I know how you operate. Why would I do this now? What'd you give him? Nothing. You're off the case. I assume you dosed the patient because you're really certain he has a neurological condition. I thought it was interesting she couldn't accept that coffee. I wanted to see how deep it went. If you want to win, you got to do something she can't possibly reciprocate. One more favor. Can I help you? I'm his wife. He's giving a kidney to someone he's never met. I wanted to spend my life with him, but I need to feel like he loves me more than other people. You the guy, the kidney donor? There was a problem. I'm gonna try again. I have polycystic kidney disease, and I need a transplant, and they say I don't have much time, so... I'll give it to you. I have another one. You give away two kidneys and you die. And then I could donate my other organs. I could save four or five more lives. Being generous is one thing, but wanting to give away all your organs while still alive makes me think House was right. His generosity seems to be part of a neurological condition which could be causing a change in personality. We know that patients who get Alzheimer's disease can also be more financially generous and possibly could be a function of the frontal lobe. I also know that the anterior cingulate cortex is involved in prosocial behavior, so could there be a condition affecting that? What would then cause the frontal lobe and heart to be affected at the same time? The way the wife was talking, it seemed like his behavior was surprising, meaning that it's unlikely that he has bipolar disorder medicated on lithium, like I mentioned before. I would think then that the most common cause would be a viral infection of both the heart and the frontal lobe. In all fairness, it could be a very atypical presentation of influenza. How crazy would that be? People after getting a serious infection can get something called flu brain or frontal lobe syndrome. These can be reversible but even manifest as behavior change due to localized inflammation in the frontal lobe. All right, I'm going for influenza infection as my third and final diagnostic guess. We are locked in. Foreman's gonna need a diagnostician. This guy is crazy. Is she on the team now? Like, forever? So what about porphyria? It's a little weird without the rash, but it fits all of his other symptoms. Are you now on the team? I mean, what am I supposed to do? I trained to be a doctor. We've brought people's kids back. How's your patient? She died a few hours ago. 13's back? Somehow you managed to con her into hanging around. It was a con. I brought him in here under false pretenses. I 
ordered a bunch of random tests to keep him here. Iodine contrast. He has plumber's disease. He has a nodule in his thyroid. Produces excess hormone. And then you kicked him into thyrotoxicosis. Where's my money? You're not giving it to me, are you? My wife. You love your family. You want the back. Your altruism is always a symptom. I don't want to give you money because you're an ass. I was an ass last week. My mechanic called. Said the work's been paid for. That's $4,500. And say thank you. You and thank you. The car's getting fixed. You're right. She went for it. Thirteen. You're fired. Don't come in tomorrow. You can't work with someone who's here so she doesn't have to feel bad. Why, House? House might be a madman who dosed a patient to stop him from being transplanted, has violated multiple restraining orders in the past, drove his car into his ex's house and even infected a colleague with a potentially deadly pathogen, but you can never say he doesn't have a heart. He just fired 13 for her benefit, losing a free employee and fixed a patient which he knew would lose him a million dollars as his altruism was a symptom. High thyroid hormone though has no reported link to altruism, so that connection was dubious, but the story in this one was beautiful. 8.4 out of 10 entertainment, 6.5 out of 10 diagnosis, 6.7 out of 10 accuracy. This episode doesn't make full sense though until you watch the previous one where the patient is lungs in a box. Click here, you wanna see that.